What is up you guys? It is Kami Ue and welcome back to my channel. I can finally say welcome back now because this is my second video. But welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Kami Ue and I am a Gemini. I think I want to start throwing in some like little fast facts in the beginning because I love fast facts. So for this week's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my ride or die products with my go-to glam look that I have on right now. I told you guys last week that I was going to be filming this video because I get a lot of questions about what are my favorite products, what are the products that I simply cannot live without. And so today's video is going to be me sharing all those to you. Before we get into this video, I would like it if you would to subscribe. It's that little red button down there. Go ahead and do it, please, 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 please. And yeah, you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you guys want to see all of my Rider Night products and all the products that I simply cannot live without, out, then be sure to keep on watching. Alrighty, so as you can tell, I already did my brows off of camera, mainly because, like, one, my brow routine is super boring, and two, it hasn't changed since I posted a brow tutorial on my Instagram. It is my Ride or Die, and it is by MAC, and it is the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in the shade Deep Dark Brunette. I am obsessed with this. Anastasia Dip Brow has nothing on her. Benefit Cabral, nothing on her. Ugh, it is so, so amazing. It stays on literally all day long. It does not budge one bit, and I am obsessed. Alrighty, first step in the makeup routine is, of course, primer, and I'm going to be going in with two primers. I have two Ride or Die primers that I absolutely love, and together they are like amazing. First one is going to be by Benefit. It is the Professional. It is an amazing pore filling primer. I love this guy so, so much. Taking a little bit and putting it on my nose area and underneath my eyes, around the cheeks chin, upper lip, and forehead. And the next primer that I'm going in on top of it, which I absolutely love, is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Mattifying Primer. Ugh, ugh. It is so amazing. I love this so much, especially if you have really oily skin. This controls my oil so much. What I like to do, I like to take it and I will press it onto my nose where I get the most oily and also my forehead where I also get super oily and it gives my skin a slight tackiness which is really really helpful because it lets me know that my foundation is going to adhere to my skin a little bit better and it's going to last a lot longer. Alrighty and for foundation today I'm going to be using none other than the Jouer Cosmetics Essential High Coverage Foundation in the shade Latte. It is an amazing foundation. I love this so, so much. It is super, super full coverage. It has a gorgeous matte finish. I am obsessed with it so much. And I'm going to be going in with her today. Look at that. You guys. Talk about full coverage up in here. Look how pretty that is. Look how flawless my face looks. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think this video is going to be going up on Saturday, which is actually the day after I announced my giveaway winner. So whoever won my giveaway, congratulations. Hope you like your stuff, or will like your stuff. I doubt I've sent it to you yet, but <laughs> hope you like it. Oh, and by the way, I'm using that Morphe sponge that I literally love so much. I'm thirsty. Alrighty, now that our foundation is laid, looking snatched, we're going to be going in with my Ride or Die Concealer, and that has to be hands down my Herb Decay Naked Skin Concealer. <sighs> what I love most about this concealer is that it isn't super full coverage, because I'm not really a fan of um, concealers that are really full in coverage. It is a beautiful medium coverage, and it's not super, super matte. It has a nice skin finish to it. And it's amazing. It's not thick. It's not cakey at all. It just... Oh, I'm obsessed with it. By the way, I'm in the shade Medium Neutral. Do I look pretty? You guys, I start school in like two days. If you guys don't know, I'm, I'm not like attending like college. Um, I'm, but I'm actually enrolled in a makeup academy. Um, I'm enrolled in the PR Makeup Academy by Pinky Rose. It's about a th three month program-ish, give or take. Um, and I'm 
gonna get my certification from there and I'm gonna become a licensed makeup artist and I'm super super excited to get my license because I've been wanting her for a bit and my ride or die setting powders I have two I have one that I like to use underneath my eyes and then one that I use for the rest of my face the one that I'm gonna be using underneath my eyes is by dermablend professional it is the loose setting powder the translucent one I am obsessed I keep saying I'm obsessed with this like after every single product but I truly truly am or else it would not be my ride or die powder taking it on my damn beauty sponge and then I'll take it and I'll just pack it underneath the eyes like so and it just gives me the most flawless finish on this planet. It makes my under eyes look so smooth. I'll take it and I'll also pack it on my nose too just because my nose gets really, really oily. This really helps kind of control my oil. And I will also pack this on my forehead as well just to make sure that the oil does not get to us. No, no, no. I will sit just a little bit on my forehead and around my nose. I like to bake those areas just because those are places that I get the most oily and so baking and sitting the powder on top is what's really gonna help minimize oil. And then the powder that I do like to use for the rest of my face is by Fenty Beauty and it is the Invisimat Blotting Powder. So it's actually, so it's pretty much, it's a translucent blotting powder which is, it's mainly made for like touch up purposes, but using this as a setting powder, oh my goodness, it is amazing gives me again a beautiful flawless finish. I just take it and I just kind of pack it on. Boom. So now I'm just gonna be brushing off the bake. I don't like to keep it on too long just cause I just don't like baking for a long time. It just kind of bothers me. Alrighty, perfect. So now that we have our foundation, our concealer, and our powder set, we are looking really flat, but also really flawless at the same time. Like, come on. So my next brighter dye product is my bronzer, and my bronzer and my contour powders come both from this palette, and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I am obsessed with this. I'm about to show you how I'm obsessed with it. Um... If this doesn't show you, like, if this doesn't prove to you that this is my ride or die bronzer and contour, um, then I don't, like, look, oh my god, look, uh, 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 you guys, someone sent me a new one because <laughs> she's a bit rough, but this truly is my ride or die. So I'm be bronzing today with this middle shade. The middle shade specifically is called um, Shadow Play. And I'll be taking it on a Morphe, oh shit, Morphe R7 brush. Me. Boom, boom, boom. Be taking that and bronzing up the cheekbones. This is a really, really good bronzing brush, by the way, if you're looking for a good bronzer brush. Morphe R7. It's super, super nice. I don't like working with bronzer brushes that are too dense because it's really, really difficult to blend them out. But this one is really, really loose and it's super fluffy. And it does an amazing job of giving you a nice airbrush finish. I also do bronze up the temples on my forehead too, just to make my forehead look a little bit smaller because before I cut my hair, if you didn't already know this, but I actually had hella, hella long hair. Like, top my hair was so long, and I would either always have it in a bun or I'd always wear hats. And it got so bad to the point where my hairline actually started to recede. So I have a really bad receding hairline, and, um, like, the sides right here and right here, those used to not be there. But over time, they just kind of started to develop, so I now have a really kind of up hairline. When I'm older, I'll probably get surgery anyway, so it's fine. Alrighty, and now to contour, I'm going to be taking this guy right here. This is the shade Subconscious, and I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe Y9 brush. Alrighty, and to clean up underneath my um, contour, I'm going to be taking the, my beauty sponge, and I'm going to be dipping into my translucent powder. And I'm going to be packing it right underneath, so I'm going to look straight forward. And I'm going to see where my indent is on my cheekbones, which is right... Like, when I kind of suck in, it's like right there, right here. So I want to follow that line and go all the way back. So I'm going to start there and just kind of work my way there. And then make a sharper line out of it. Boom chisel now i'll be going in i'll be taking that same contour shade and I'm, I'm gonna be contouring my nose 
My Red Eye nose contouring brush actually came from one of my Ipsy glam bags. It's from um, Mika, Mika Beauty Cosmetics. And this brush <laughs> can slay a mother nose in two seconds, I kid you not. What I'm most pissed about is that it doesn't have a name on it. That's the only problem. There's no name. It just says the brand. So mainly for my eyes, I don't really tend to turn towards eyeshadows for my go-to glam just because I am always doing like a different look all the time and so I don't really have a look that I just go to that I'm like, okay, let me just do that. However, I do have um, a couple ride or die eyeshadow palettes that I do want to show you guys just in case you guys are wondering. So the first ride or die palette that I'm literally obsessed with was I actually just got this recently and I have literally fallen in love with it. It is the Morphe 39A. I gotta scoot back because she's too big. It is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create Eyeshadow Palette. This palette. <gasps> oh my god, is this focusing? Yeah, maybe. You know. You guys, this palette is stunning. I am obsessed with this palette so, so much. Those greens at that corner and those reds down there. Woo! And then my other Rider Dye palette, which is probably more Rider Dye than the other one, just because I've had this one for such a long time, and it has been my go to palette for all of my colorful looks. This is the Morphe. 35B palette. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm not really much of like a neutralist, meaning I don't really turn to like brown smoky eyes and warm brown this and cool tone gray brown this. I usually always go for color um, just because not that I can't do like a brown smoky eye. It's just that like I personally feel as though when I wear super neutral browns and whatnot, I feel like it almost washes me out. So I do make sure that I add pops of color into my looks as much as I can. Um, and this palette is absolutely amazing. She's been well loved, clearly. Um, and it is so, so amazing. And this palette, I believe, is only like 22 bucks. So if you're looking for a good colorful palette, 35B by Morphe. I'm going to be highlighting my inner corners. I'm going to be taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Oh, you guys know I love this stuff. I'm going to be taking on a Morphe R43 brush. Hi. Are you filming or not? Yes. Right now? That's very second. Yes. <laughs> Can I say hi to my dog? I'll show you guys my dog. Give me some money, guys. So this is Kitty. <laughs> this is my Chihuahua. She's... 14 years old. She's super old. Um, her name is Kitty, mainly because she is anything but a dog. She is super, super cat-like, um, and I think she's a, like, half cat, half lemur. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Dobby is a free elf! Alright, so now that my inner corners are highlighted, I'm going to be going in and popping on some lashes. These two right here are my absolute go-to. This one right here is, um, they're, by, they're both by Lily Lash. This one is in the style Miami. I wore these yesterday, so th there's some crest on them. But these lashes I love so, so much. They give me such a nice, like, flirty, natural look. I mean, not natural, but, like, as natural as we can get them to be, okay? Um, but I love these lashes so, so much for, like, my non-eyeshadow look days. For a little bit extra volume, girl, these lashes are so amazing. I love these so, so much. These are also my little lashes, and these are in the style Mykonos. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, if you're looking for a lash that'll stunt on everyone, mm. for today, I'm going to be putting on my Miami lashes. Boom. You guys, come on. These lashes, though. They're super pretty. They're super like fluffy. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> like, all right, next, I'm gonna be going in with mascara. Now, my ride or die mascara, if you will, is Benefit Roller Lash. However, I am like one of those people where I'm not super, super picky when it comes to my mascara just because I'm usually always wearing false lashes. So I don't really rely on mascara constantly to make my lashes look good because I'll just pop on a pair of fake ones anyways. But I don't really have much to say about it just because I don't really care about like mascara, if you will.
The next step in my makeup routine is blush, and my ride or die blush definitely has to be hands down by Sigma, and it is their powder blush in the shade Cheeky. I personally like um, blushes that are more on the orange side than they are pink. I like how orange looks on my skin. It complements my skin tone a lot better than pink. Now I'll be taking this on a Luxie 660 brush. Alrighty, so now that my blush is on, the next step is that glow. And I'm going to be going in with two of my Ride or Die highlighters. They both separately are absolutely sickening, but together they are a dream team. The first highlight I'm going to be going in with is, of course, Gilded Honey. I love this stuff so much. Oh, I can't stress it enough. I'm going to be dipping into Gilded Honey on a Morphe Y14 brush. Just swirling her in and glow into the gods. All right, now I'm going to be topping that highlighter with my second Red Eye highlighter, and it is by Jouer Cosmetics. It is Skinny Dip. This, you have to be careful with her. She is so pigmented. I literally use the tiny spit. It's going, and that's like literally it because, you guys, this is really nice. So for my Ride or Die lipstick, it was really, really hard for me to choose just because, like, I'm always, like, wearing a different lipstick. So in order for me to narrow it down, I made it my Ride or Die nude lipstick. My Ride or Die nude lipstick definitely has to be stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Before we finish up, we do definitely have to finalize with some setting spray, and I'm going to be using my Ride or Die setting spray, which is Urban Decay. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. A good trick is to also fan your face too right after you set because it really helps kind of lock everything in. Alrighty guys, and that is the end of my go-to glam tutorial featuring all of my Ride or Die products. I really hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I loved creating it. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave. And also while you're at it, you can hit the little bell button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. All the products that I used today will be in the description box down below along with all of my discount codes. If you guys would like to keep up to date with all things Kamiwe, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, which is at the Kamiwe and my Snapchat at Comrade for Adonish. And if you are next to book an appointment with me and get painted by Call Me Way, all my booking information will be in the description box down below as well. I thank you guys again so, so much for watching this video and I hope I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!